lot of you have asked me how I juggle the major stones in my life, the big ones being going to medical school and running this company. Well, in this video, I want to break down my global, my big goal setting system that encompasses not only like my purpose, my vision, the things that excite me, but how I break down this massive concept or like 10 year vision into the daily rituals I do on a daily basis. Hey guys, I'm Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now look, I've actually included a downloadable PDF of my yearly vision goal setting document. I've included it right down there below. You can go click the link in the description, download that guide. You'll also be brought to my little kind of personal development and weight loss crash course emails. So check that out in the description before we go on and you can fill that in basically as we go through this. Now look, to me, the way that I think about setting goals is that you have what you're working on, why you're doing it, and the daily process you use to actually get there, right? So if you're a sailor and you're in this massive ship, you need to know one, where you're gonna go, two, you need to have the resources like the ship, the process to actually do it, and then three, you need to figure out, okay, what are we really doing? So let's walk through exactly my own set of goals and how I structure and break down all of these things for the big life vision to what do I do today? So step one is to have what Andrew Carnegie called a definite major purpose. I believe that for most people, the reason why they don't achieve anything is because they don't know what they want. They don't set a goal and then they can think, what do I have to do today to get to that goal? So personally, when I work through this exercise, you know, this is one of those core philosophies in the book, Think and Grow Rich. Now I know many of you are gonna say, I don't know what I want. So just bear with me for the time being. If you know even a little bit of what you want, it could be to help your parents, to graduate school, to just get a good job, anything. Just pick one thing for the time being. I wrote down that I want to become one of the greatest doctors in the history of not only the medical field, but specifically Chinese medicine, the Chinese medical approach to medicine, because it's what helped me when modern medicine did not. And around that one thing, I want to build a team of five to 10 people who build my online brand, my products, etc. while I'm also writing books, teaching, coaching, speaking, and hosting these retreats. So part of me is the thing I want to be the best at and I want to learn more than anyone else in history is Chinese medicine. Again, that helped me more than anything else, any other doctor I'd seen. And then I want to build like this Deepak Chopra brand around my name. So now that by itself is every day I wake up, I can now think about what I'm trying to build. Instead of waking up on a Saturday morning being like, okay, go on YouTube. Now, the second thing is to reverse engineer the really big levers. Now, what I like to think about this is that every skill or any profession or any goal you want to reach is usually comprised of several smaller skill sets. So let me give you an example. The focusing question I want you to think of is what are the five or fewer things I need to really get good at skill wise? So for example, in medicine, the skills I need to be amazing at are diagnosis. And diagnosis is different in different medical specialties. And then treatment. Treatment could be internal medicine treatments, physical medicine treatments. So for me, diagnosis. Second thing is studying herbal formulas, since that's what fixed my digestive stuff. And the third thing is studying patient cases every day to help train my diagnostic process better. But look, if you're a writer, you have skills too. If you want to be a pro writer, these are the skills you need to focus on. You need to focus on writing, learning the craft of writing. You need to learn about marketing and building a platform to sell your books. And you need to learn about book launches. At this stage, you've broken down the big vision, some of the things you want to do, and then these are a couple of the core skill sets I need to have at a higher level to get to that level in my life, whether or not you want to be the best in the world. Now, the third step is you come up with what daily habits can help you build those skills to help you reach that vision, okay? So let's jump through this now and I'll give you plenty of examples. So for me, in my own desire to become one of the greats of history, like Nikola Tesla, like Einstein, like Da Vinci, I know that to be great at medicine, I need to focus on those skills I talked about. So what that looks like day to day is, for example, every day I could study three patient cases before I read about the intervention. 
So then in my head, I'm going to try to accurately pick the proper treatment approach. If I got it wrong, then I sit there and I study it. What was it about my thinking that was improper and did not allow me to come to the proper diagnosis? From there, it's each patient I see, go home, study them for 10 to 15 minutes, the whole case, and assess whether or not the intervention I provided, whether it was acupuncture, an herbal formula, or a referral, did it heal and fix the problem? If not, I need to reflect on that whole breakdown from my diagnosis to my treatment. Where did I go wrong? And then reflect and then test the next time I see the patient. If you're a writer, your daily habits could be as simple as writing a thousand words a day, shipping, creating, one book every two years, one creative work that you must execute on, shipping multiple smaller works, or studying the great writers of history by spending 30 minutes a day to understand their writing style. If you're a YouTuber, you know what your day-to-day -day habits are? Produce at least two videos per week, and then you could spend 30 minutes reflecting on how you can improve your scripting, your delivery, your video presence, and your video skills. And you're if an athlete, your day-to-day -day rituals look like training four to five days a week in terms of workouts, drilling, for example, if you're a tennis player, your overhand, 30 minutes a day, drilling your serve, three by 30 minutes a week. So we've broken down the desire to reach this goal, this big vision, by breaking it down into the skills that are required and then the daily habits that will help you build those core skills. So I hope that helps you guys. That is a little bit of a long exercise there, but I think it's really going to help you understand how you break down a bigger kind of nebulous, this amorphous vision into something practical and tangible 